Hi, I am Kasumi Okuda, a PhD student at the University of Tokyo. I am also a researcher at Mitsubishi Electric Corporation. In this video, I introduce lake symbols for island parsing. With lake symbols, we can quickly develop parsers for many applications, such as source code analyzers or converters. The motivation of our research is to address the difficulty of obtaining a parser. Parsers are essential software components for many applications, not only compilers or interpreters, but also program analysis tools or program converters use a parser. But obtaining a parser is not easy. Writing a parser from scratch is costly in general. Even if we use a parser generator, we must write many rules to obtain the generated parser. Parsers for existing languages may be available, but they are not always useful for your application. The parser may be written in a language that you don't want to use, or the resulting ST or a parse tree may not be what you want. Okay. But do we always need a complete parser? The answer is no. Program analysis tools or converters do not need a whole resulting tree from their parser. They need only subtrees for specific program constructs, such as functions, methods, control flow statements, or syntax sugar. Moreover, they do not care about the detailed parts of the tree. For example, when you want to measure the complexity of each function, you only need trees for functions and control flow statements. The tree for control flow statements contains subtrees for expressions. But we don't care about the subtrees for the expression. We propose lake symbols for island passing that make it easy to write such a non-complete parser. An island parser with lake symbols can be used as a grape like pattern matcher with wild cards, but regular expressions are not sufficient for parsing programs. So our island parsing is based on a peg, parsing expression grammar, to handle the recursive structures in programming languages. Writing a normal peg for island parsing is not easy for non-experts, but with lake symbols, the user can easily write a grammar for island passing. We also propose Peg Island that implements our lake symbols. Peg Island takes an island grammar with lake symbols and generates a normal peg without lakes. So existing parser generators for a peg can be used to obtain a parser. Before explaining the lake symbols, I explain the concept of island passing. In island passing, the program constructs that we are interested in are called island. Parts of the program are called water. Let's assume that we want to extract if else statements in this program. In this case, the islands are if else statements and the remaining parts in light blue are water. The path tree on the right side is complete path tree, but the iron parser does not need to build some parts of the tree in light blue. But in this case, the effort to write the iron grammar is almost the same as the complete grammar. To effectively reduce the effort to write an iron grammar, we need to create lakes in islands. Let's suppose that we don't need to detail the path of expressions in the path tree. Then, we can handle most paths of expressions as water. In this case, the parser does not need to build subtrees for expressions. Hence, the grammar for generating the island parser gets smaller. Now, I've explained islands and water. I explain the sea and the lake in more detail next. 
In island passing, we recognize a whole program as the sea. The sea consists of one or more islands and water. The grammar for island passing has rules for recognizing islands. If the syntaxes of islands are complicated, we must write many rules in the grammar. So, the effort to write the grammar is considerable. As mentioned earlier, the, the islands must have legs to effectively reduce the number of rules in the grammar. So, let's take a look at legs. Islands may have several or more lakes on them. Each lake consists of water and several or more islands. As you can see, an island can have nested islands on it. Please notice that there may be water between the outer island and inside one. Next, I'll explain how to define the sea and the lakes by using lake symbols. Now, let's write an island grammar for extracting FL statements from the program shown area in this video. Lake symbols are colored in red in this grammar. We surrounded the names of lake symbols with brackets to distinguish them from non-terminal symbols. We can use lake symbols to define the sea and lake in the grammar. For example, we can define a program as there were more repetition of the program C. By default, lake symbols behave as wildcard symbol. We can also define a rule for a lake symbol. On the right hand side of the rule for a lake symbol, we can put passing expressions for islands or water. For example, Program C has if else statement as an island and a string reader as water. We also use the lake symbol expression lake to handle expressions as lakes. We specify if else statement as an island in expression lake because if else statements may appear through a lambda expression in the language. We propose an algorithm that translates this extended peg into a normal peg. The grammar shown here is a normal peg generated with our algorithm. As you can see, all lake symbols are converted to non-terminal symbols. As mentioned earlier, a lake symbol works as a wildcard symbol. The rule for converted lake symbols have a wildcard symbol as an operand of an order choice operator. In the case of program C, a wildcard symbol is simply added to the end of the rule. But in the case of expression lake, it's not so simple because we prevent the wildcard symbol from consuming some parts of island by mistake. To achieve this, we must put these symbols as operands of the not predicate operator. Our algorithm can automatically calculate these symbols from the given extended pair. We call these symbols alternative symbols because these symbols may be alternatively recognized when the parser tries to recognize the leg symbol. While finding all alternative symbols by hand is difficult our algorithm can calculate them automatically. Please read our paper if you are interested in the details of the algorithm. Let's compare the grammar with lake symbols with the complete grammar for the language. The rules colored in red are needed in the complete grammar. When we define a complete grammar for the language, we must write more rules than the island grammar. We must define rules for a function, definition, and uh, expression in the language. 
but how useful are uh, the lake and lake symbols for practical programming languages? To confirm that we implemented ion parsers for Java and Python and experimented on them. We developed Big Island in Python and implements ion parsers with it. We chose Java and Python as target languages. We implemented 72 ion parsers for Java and 40 ion parsers for Python. Each parser extracts only one program construct that has a dedicated section in the manual of the language. Half of them were implemented with lake symbols, and the other half were implemented without lake symbols. We compared the number of rules for each parser with complete grammars to confirm the effectiveness of island grammars with lakes and without lakes. This chart shows the results of Java. In the case of island parsers without lakes, the numbers of rules are almost as same as the complete parser. This chart indicates that lakes are necessary to reduce the number of rules for island parser. This chart also indicates that island parsing is not effective when we want to extract expressions in Java. If we want to correctly extract expressions, we must write almost all rules for Java. Except for grammars for expressions, 42% of rules can be reduced with lake symbols on average. This chart shows the result of Python. 44% of rules can be reduced without lakes on average, and 89% of rules can be reduced with lake symbols on average. The results indicate that the lake symbols are necessary to effectively reduce the number of rules for Python. To confirm the effectiveness of lake symbols, we also measured the number of alternative symbols calculated for each lake symbol. In the case of Java, 1 to 13 alternative symbols are calculated, and 1.7 symbols are calculated on average. In the case of Python, 2 to 15 alternative symbols are calculated, and 2.4 symbols are calculated on average. Because finding all 13 or 15 alternative symbols by hand is tedious and error prone, we think lake symbols are useful for writing island grammars. In this video, we propose the lake symbols and an extended peg supporting the lake symbols. It mitigates the difficulty in describing the grammar rule for the water in the middle of an island. This contributes to reducing the total number of rules for an island parser and thereby improving the usefulness of the island parser. We implemented the idea of lake symbols in PEG, implementing lake symbol in other grammar such as LR or LL grammars is future work. Thank you.